Hi guys, welcome back to Kestrel Haulage UK and USA. We're on Euro Truck Simulator 2 and we're currently doing a road trip from Liege or Liege or something like that. I'm not sure how you pronounce it as I said before, um, but we're heading up to Hamburg and that is the road trip and what we are carrying our cargo is this this is the uh, drive shaft if you will the TS254R which uh, motorizes the um, propellers of the turb wind turbine I believe that's what this is uh, that we're carrying and as I say it's the model TS254R and I believe that's what this item is it's the uh, drive shaft as I say or the motor part of the uh, wind turbine that we see dotted all over the countryside and in the oceans <clears throat> I'm using my own personal truck at the moment and I've took a wrong turning but not to worry that's with the uh, gobbing on what we'll do is we'll just do a quick u-turn which was totally illegal but there we are I dare say in any country but uh, Even you know, it's a good job uh, he wasn't around when I did that U-turn, but never mind. I think we safely, safely can say that we got away with that one. We have 248 mile left. And for those of you that are new and have never seen my personal truck before, this whoop, oh sorry, <clears throat> this is the FH16 
what beautiful scenery to say that it's uh, 22.30 in the evening game time and we've got this to deliver on Monday at 4.23 uh, I'm not sure if that's AM or PM but uh, it's Sunday evening 22.38 and uh, delivery time is as I say 4.23 I'm not sure if that's AM or PM, I'm not 100% uh, sure as I say, but uh, be advised people, as you can see, I am using the uh, orange beacons. I do apologise people uh, in the uh, evening on the game time you will see the uh, orange beacons quite brightly I do apologise that, about that people uh, I try and uh, warn everybody before I actually start the video that uh, I am or I am not using the uh, orange beacons but uh, I was a little late of uh, warning everybody because I'd actually started the video before uh, I mentioned it to people but uh, as I say people I do apologize and for those that's just joined to watch the uh, video please be advised I do use orange beacons and if you suffer with uh, migraines I do understand that for a lot of people that uh, sets them away so I'd rather warn you and let you know that I am using the uh, Orange Beacons people then uh, you end up with a bad migraine but uh, as the saying goes touch wood I hope you don't and I hope you enjoy the uh, the video but for any newcomers Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 and you're with me Brian Kestrel Haulage UK and USA. And for the benefit of the people that uh, have just joined me, we'll have a look at the map and as I say, our start point was just outside Liege and we're heading up to Hamburg so uh, a canny drive and we'll be going through Berman or bypassing Berman Onsbrook and Dortmund or Dortmund D-O-R-T-M-U-N-D uh, we've already bypassed that, I do apologise people. Uh, as I say, we're going to be bypassing Onsbrook and Bremen and up into, uh, into uh, Hamburg. Okay.
got a little bit too close to the uh, centre reservation barrier there. I think we can uh, go into the slow lane now, yeah. Evening all. going over to the overtaking lane because we are actually going straight on and the slow lane does act as a filter lane to go off to the right there. into the slow lane to shortly go back into the overtaking lane to go straight on again <laughs> There's one truck I would dearly love to uh, have on the game and that's the old Scammel. I don't know uh, 
if many people can remember the old scammer but uh, I don't think we'd ever get that incorporated into uh, one of the Euro Sim truck games. Um, I think the nearest we're going to get to it is the uh, VNL Volvo. T600 and uh, 750 or the new VNR we might uh, be looking to get one of those uh, incorporated into the game I quite like the look of the new VNR uh, I think it has a, a slightly shorter uh, front than what the uh, VNL does. Uh, the VNR, as I say, uh, 2018 model, um, does look slightly smaller uh, than the VNL. But I do believe there is a lot more new features Um, I dare say some of the new features would be more or less the same as what you get on the VNL T600 or uh, 750. Um, like the cup, removable cup holders or can holders, whichever you uh, prefer. Um, I dare say they will more than likely be the same or slightly modified in some way shape or form but uh, yeah I can't remember if I actually uh, watched a video on the uh, new VNR the Victor November Romeo uh, I believe I did put one up on YouTube uh, shared it uh, as it were uh, shortly after I watched it um, but I do apologize people if I didn't successfully uh, put it on YouTube but uh, if you go on to YouTube and type in VNR Volvo 2018 you will be able to uh, view the video and uh, have a look for yourselves let me know what you think. I think uh, they do look slightly better, the VNR. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I like the VNL um, Volvo. I think the long front end makes it uh, quite interesting. Um, I can dare say, I can safely say the VNR front end of the uh, Volvo, the new 2018 Volvo um, is just a smaller version of the VNL uh, as I say um, but yeah I've actually driven one of the old Scammels Unfortunately, they weren't built for speed, they were built for pulling power. Because you could put anything you like on the back of that, and they pull it as if it was there was nothing there, basically. Uh, speed wise, not fantastically uh, fast, but uh, I dare say on the flap when we needed it it was there sort of thing but uh, I think as I say the scammer was more so built for pulling power rather than as I say speed wise um, but yeah quite an interesting truck to drive the uh, the uh, old scammer well people 
this is the end of the road trip. This is it uh, nearly completed. A little shorter than I thought. I thought it might have took just that little longer to uh, complete, but uh, no. I think it's because uh, I've been rattling away like a little good and explaining this, that and the other to people and uh, it's rather short the journey <laughs> as it were and I've come rather a little bit too tight here so what I'm going to do is uh, pull round to the left slightly and make a right bodge up of it. I do apologise people. I think we'll go to external cam for this one because it is a little bit tricky. I've got to try and uh, get it down the side of that ramp as well so I don't want to be smacking into the ramp if I can, uh, if I can help it. And as I say the problem being with the uh, trailer being st steering axle as well um, it is that more slightly more awkward to do but uh, eventually we will get it in to the uh, area no not like that we won't bear with me people as I say I do apologize it is taken a little longer than I uh, would have anticipated but they are just slightly that little more awkward to uh, reverse I've had these problems with uh, real time as well but there we have it people we'll take that and we got a good work and we got base reward 13,973 561 XP uh, long distance delivery bonus skill rank 6 140 XP 90 for bonus parking the trailer with it being steering axle as well and uh, yeah there we have it that's the end of the road trip people thank you very much for watching much appreciated please like share follow and subscribe and as always from me brian castle haulage uk and usa Let's drive safely out there people, take care. And from me, until the next video, bye for now.